Of all the things that frighten your dog and freak out your feline, there is one more universally petrifying than all the rest. A visit to the veterinarian. He's shaking. He's kind of got his ears slicked back. Come here, Snowflake. Come Dr. Here. Gretchen Zarl says between shots, surgeries, and other stuff. It's fairly common that dogs come in and, and are worried about what we're going to do, you know, and why they're here. You can follow Terry okay, back okay. if you want to. The kind of stress that's damaging at the cellular level. We can see changes in their blood work. We can see, you know, all kinds of things that uh, in their blood pressure, not to mention the stress on the owner and the veterinarian when we're all struggling. It's okay. But she says Bartles Pet Hospital in Brexville is part of a nationwide movement. That's the cat's meow. It's called Fear Free Veterinary Medicine. Which involves all kinds of things like uh, happy stress-free visits where all they do is come and get treats and petted. Replacing muzzles and restraints with warm comfy blankets and soothing mood music. His teeth look great. There's no sign of any tartar or gingivitis and that's wonderful. You play certain music and it helps them relax. Come on, Snowflake. Some classical, but also reggae. Physiologically, the music and the science behind it is real. And since dogs and cats have acutely more sensitive sniffers, they're also spritzing themselves that's all it takes. The cages and the clinic with special pheromones. You know when a cat rubs up against you, they're actually putting a cheek pheromone on you and it keeps, it makes them feel relaxed and happy to do that. And um, there's a pheromone called dog appeasing pheromone and that gives the dogs a sense of comfort. But Dr. Zarl says probably the biggest impact happens when the animal's near the end of its life with fear-free euthanasia at home. Um, you're losing a family member, so it's nice to be, it's nice to present that as an option and, and not have those last moments be alone and frightened. In their own bed, with a favorite toy, sometimes outside, or for one Labrador retriever. Mom arrived from the kitchen with the biggest bowl of bacon and eggs. And she said, I just want him to be having bacon and eggs when he goes. But it was really a special way for that so owner sweet. and dog to say goodbye to each other. Turning a terrible situation into a cherished memory, says Paula Kramer, whose beautiful boy Simba also crossed the Rainbow Bridge at home after months battling a rare cancer. He was in his bed in peace, with no pain, recognizing the voices around him, which is far better on the poor animal also. Oh, and awful. for me and you and anyone who loves their pets. Compassionate care that's considered cutting edge right now. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> but just the beginning of what's to come, says Dr. Zarl, because loving your pet should never be scary. Pets are such a part of our family and the focus is gonna be more and more on, on uh, giving to them what we may want for ourselves. Well, that's almost the most critical and sensitive thing that we can do. Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.